Good morning. Welcome to our school mass as we witness Philip's encounter with the Ethiopian official and reflect on Jesus' revelation as the bread of life. Let's open our hearts to the guidance and love of Christ. Join me in standing as we begin with our opening song, Canticle of the Sun. the glory of God and all creation is shouting for joy come dance in the forest come play in the field and sing sing to the glory of the Lord praise for the Son the bringer of day he carries the light of the Lord in his rays the moon and the stars who light up the way unto glory of God and all creation is shouting for joy come dance in the forest come play in the field and sing sing to the glory of the Lord sing sing to the, the glory, glory of the Lord Good morning, everybody. In a couple few weeks, we're going to do a little bit more of a Spanish Mass. So I know you've been practicing your Spanish. So let's do the sign of the cross and the greeting in Spanish. See if you can get it with me. In el nombre del Padre, del Hijo, del Espíritu Santo. Amen. El Señor esté con ustedes. Y con tu espíritu. Can you say that? Y con tu espíritu. Gracias. Thank you. As we celebrate the Mass, we're celebrating the sacraments in a special way because in the readings, they come out with, a, with the way in which we can celebrate baptism as well as the Eucharist and how those two come together in a beautiful way. So we recognize that when we do celebrate the Eucharist, we need to come with a pure heart, opening our ears and eyes, so we ask for that forgiveness and reconciliation we need in our hearts and souls to live and to love always in the ways of God. So think of that one thing that you need in your life, one sin that you have that you need to forgive or have forgiven, or somebody you need to forgive. As we ask for that forgiveness, Lord, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O oh Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip began to speak to the queen's official. He told him the good news about Jesus. As they traveled down the road, they came to a place where there was some water. The official stopped the carriage, and Philip and the official went down into the water, and Philip baptized him. Then the, then the 
official continued on his way full of joy. The word of the Lord. This is the day, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him to me, and I will raise him to life on the last day. The prophets wrote, everyone will be taught by God. Anyone who hears the Father and learns from him comes to me. This does not mean that anyone has seen the Father, He who is from God is the only one who has seen the Father. I am telling you the truth. The one who believes has eternal life. Your ancestors ate man in the desert, but they died. But the bread that comes down from heaven is of such a kind that whoever eats it will not die. I am the living bread come down from heaven. If anyone eats this bread, they will live forever. The bread that I will give is my flesh, which I give so that the world might live. The Gospel of the Lord. To you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
So again, we have two, two uh, sacraments that we want to celebrate today especially, but just kind of review, what are the sacraments? Let's start over here. What's, everybody comes in and you get holy water, right? And it reminds us of our what? Of Jesus in our baptism. So that's the first one. The first one is baptism. The next couple, I'm going to go over here because you're studying it this year, big time, right? What are you studying this year? What two sacraments? What's one of them? First communion and? And? Reconciliation. Those are, so baptism, reconciliation, first communion. And then when you get older, we get into, you got to get to high school first. So. Are you in high school yet? Anybody here in high school yet? No, not yet. What's the next one? Spirit. Confirmation. Very good. And then you get into the last three, which are, what am I? A priest, right? So that's holy orders. And then if you look at mom and dad, they are what? They're married. That's another one. And the last one is if I go to the hospital, I get really sick, or if I need help in another way. Very good. Anointing of the sick. Those are the seven. Did I get them all? I think so. So the two in our readings today, the first one speaks about somebody who is on a journey and they come by a, a little lake, a pond, some water. And when you think of water, of course, you think of baptism. And he knew in his heart and soul that he wanted to change. He wanted to grow closer to Jesus. And so when we get closer to Jesus, it means we're celebrating our baptism because we are all called to be children of God. And in that baptism, we know that God is calling us to go even deeper to be that child of God so that we can live that out more fully. And we do that when it's a great, all of your baptisms, most of, I think all of you, almost all of you, were baptized, and it was a great celebration. Your parents, your family, it all came together. We're celebrating First Communions in, a lot in our parishes these days, coming up in these weeks. All the people are gathering, your family is going to be all excited for you. It's a wonderful time to remind ourselves that we are living in the ways of Jesus and we're growing in the ways of Jesus. And that's the important part because the second sacrament that we're in the scripture is Jesus says, I am the living bread. I am the living bread. That reminds us, of course, of the Eucharist. So as we are baptized, as you were born into this world, you're all able to live and move and do things, but you have to at least probably three times a day, what do you do? What do you do three times a day? We eat, right? If you don't eat, what happens? You get really... You get really hungry, and then you start getting tired, and then your parents complain because you're getting crabby. And so they give you something to eat. That's what we do with the Eucharist. Because sometimes we need to come back to church. Sometimes we need to hear the Word of God. We need to receive the body and blood of Christ because that nourishes us. It strengthens us. It refocuses us. It gives us what we need to live better every day in the ways of Jesus and how we treat our neighbor. So that's the gift of the sacraments. They always guide us. They always give us what we need on our journey in order to live always in the ways of God, to be nourished, to be forgiven, to know that the Holy Spirit is with us. And as we make those big decisions in life, whether we become a priest or religious, or whether we get married, whether we stay single, those are sacraments that gift us with what we need to live in the ways of God, to make those commitments and to be faithful to what God is calling us to do and to be. So I ask us to, to stand now as we pray, who's got the petitions, that God will gift us with what we need to live and love in, in the ways of Jesus, that we're nourished by the living bread and that God gives us what we need to always follow in our baptismal call. Yeah. 
please respond. Lord, hear our prayer. For Father Bob, Father Tom, Bishop Rickon, and Pope Francis, who tirelessly guide us in our faith journey, may they continue to inspire us and lead us closer to Christ. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those entrusted with spiritual leadership, like Philip and the Acts of the Apostles, may they be empowered by the Holy Spirit to boldly proclaim the gospel to lead others to encounter the love of Jesus. We also lift up in prayer all those who are sick, suffering, go, or going through difficult times in their lives, that they may find comfort, strength, and healing in the loving embrace of God. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the public leaders entrusted with the well-being of our community, may they be guided by the wisdom and compassion of Jesus, the bread of life in their decisions, fostering peace and justice for all. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Royce Finney and our parish family, that God may bless and fulfill them. For all intentions we hold silently in our hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. As we offer these and all of our prayers in the name of Jesus who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. At this time, students will bring baskets to the altar with leader of the pack slips. These slips show students' efforts to welcome, love, and serve as disciples of God. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept a sacrifice at your hands. May the praise and glory of God's name for our good and good of all of those holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race, and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, we sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of, the, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all those who minister within your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us wave to each other a sign of peace. Christ, peace, everybody. Peace with you. Christ, peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul. Please join in our communion hymn, Seeds Scattered and Sown, found on your music sheet.
gracious and loving God, as we conclude our time of worship, we thank you for the profound encounters with your presence found in the scriptures. Just as Philip journeyed to the Ethiopian official and Jesus declared himself as the bread of life, may we too be transformed by these encounters, inspired to share your love and truth as we go love and truth with all whom we encounter. Bless us with courage and faith as we go forth, nourished by your word and sustained by your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. No birthdays. Nobody's having a birthday? All right. Let us pray. <clears throat> we pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we go, we've got to thank our second graders. Get a great job in reading. Great readers out there. Well done. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve one another. Amen. Thanks be to God. Please join in our closing hymn, Join in the Dance, found on your music sheet. This is the feast of the love of God. Shout from the heights to the ends of creation. Jesus the Savior is risen from the grave. Wake, O people, sleep no longer. Greet the breaking of the love of God. Shout from the heights to the ends of creation. Jesus the Savior is risen.